Hello guys, uh, this video we are going to solve three problems on the refrigeration cycle. We are trying to cover as much as we have discussed so far. This along with the problems that we did in class and homework and your own independent study should be um, enough for you to understand refrigeration systems. Okay, so let's start uh, by uh, this problem that reads this way. Uh, we have a um, ice producing plant that operates on the ideal paper compression system and uh, uses 134A as a working fluid. The refrigeration cycle operation conditions um, require that the vapor pressure is 140 kilopascal and the condenser pressure is 1200 kilopascal. Cooling water flows to the water jacket surrounding the condenser at 200 kilograms per second and the cooling water has a temperature rise of 10 degrees. Um, to produce ice potable water, we're going to go with fresh water, ice supply to the chiller section of, free, of the refrigeration cycle and for each kilogram of ice produced, 333 kilojoules energy must be removed so that means that we must remove 333 kilojoules per kilogram of ice so we are asked to get um, sketch the hour from all three working fluids and uh, the refrigeration ice making system and the TS diagram for the refrigeration system uh, the mass flow rate of refrigerant in kilograms per second and the mass flow rate of potable water supply in kilograms per second. Okay, so first of all, we uh, start by drawing our uh, hardware. And we're going to start by drawing our um, paper compression system. We have our condenser our expansion valve an evaporator then of course we have the compressor um, so this is Circular is 134A. And um, what we know is this is 140 kilopascal, and this pressure is 1400. Kilopascal. Um, we have a water jacket, which is in blue, so water jacket in which we're going to pass water. We are having a delta T. Ten degrees, and um, and the mass flow rate of that water is two hundred, and we also have the water, the fresh water, and. We know that we have some heat interactions. The Q of the condenser and the Q load. So if we try to draw this on a two years diagram. And you know that that's a challenge using this program. Oh my god. I'm 
hands again. And we know we have this is one hundred and forty second pressure fourteen hundred This is our system, same numbers here. Okay, so we are, and what we are looking for is the hardware and the TS. We will got it. We need to find out the mass flow rate of refrigerant and the mass flow rate of fresh water. So we can recognize that in the refrigerant in the condenser um, the Q to the condenser the rate is equal to the Q that the water will absorb. So this Q of the condenser is the mass flow rate of the refrigerant times H2 minus H1 and this should equal exactly the same as the heat that the water is absorbing and that is the mass flow rate of the water times C of the water times the temperature rise that that water has. So we know that we can solve for the mass flow rate of refrigerant. So, so in this, we will we'll get kilograms per second. Um, we know this, we don't know the properties, we should compute them. But um, second, we are looking for the fresh water. We should recognize that all the heat that goes into the evaporator from uh, fresh water is the heat that needs to be released from a, from ice. We don't have any heat, uh, any mass loss when transferring from water to ice. So we can say that the Q, the fresh water gets uh, removed to convert to ice should be the same as the heat that the evaporator is absorbing uh, this first Q will be the mass flow rate of fresh water times the energy that we need to remove to form ice which is 330 kilojoules per kilogram of ice. And this should be exactly the same as the mass flow rate of refrigerant, which we already know from here, times the enthalpy difference that we have in the evaporator. So this is QF, or as we have to said QL. So we can solve for mass flow rate of fresh water and mass flow rate of fresh water will be um, mass flow rate of refrigerant times H1 minus H4 divided by this heat that we can get of the H. So we know that the only, we, we, we can notice that the only unknowns were H1, H2, H3, and H4, which we can get from our tables. So we know that state one
we have um, 140 kilopascal uh, quality equal to one so tables h1 is 239.16 And it's one because we're gonna need it in order to compute S2 is 0 0.94456 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Stay tuned since it's an ideal cycle is one equal S2, that means that it's an isentropic. And P2 equals 1400 kilopascal. So we need to interpolate. So by interpolation, and I will let you guys to do the interpolation either with your phone on or by hand. I will strongly recommend you at least one by hand just in case something goes wrong in your exam. Uh, so by interpolation, we know H2 equals 27.38 kilojoules per kilogram. Stay three. Quality is equal to zero, while pressure tree is still 1400 kilopascal. So, the real tables we know that H3 equals 127.22 kilojoules per kilogram, and H3 equals H4. Now, we substitute. Mass flow is refrigerant is 200 kilograms per second of the water times 4.186 kilojoules per kilogram of water Kelvin times the 10 Kelvin uh, density that we have. So we cancel units uh, kilograms and this is kilograms per second. Oh, we need to divide by two eighty seven point eight minus one twenty seven point seventy two kilojoules per kilogram so now we can go back to cancellation um, we just need to forget these kilojoules and we'll have kilograms per second and this number will be 52.27 kilograms per second and the mass of fresh water will be substituting 52.27 kilograms per second times 239.17 minus 127.22 
330 kilojoules per kilogram. Again, we are going to cancel some terms. So we know this is kilojoules per kilogram. And um, we know that this kilograms cancel with. This kilograms and the this kilojoules can say with this kilojoules. So at the end, we're gonna have 17.73 kilograms per second. Please look that these are all kilograms of refrigerant, kilograms of fresh water, fresh water, okay, thank you, this was the first video on solving, next video will introduce some, uh, all the things that will make a more actual cycle, thank you.